Hi, good morning. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2019 on a 69 plate. It is the Ford Transit Custom L2 long wheelbase. It has got the 2 litre TDCI 130 brake horsepower engine in it with the six speed manual gearbox and it is in limited specification. So basically, it is the most desirable one out there we find. Finished in chrome blue, which is arguably the best color for them. Uh, this is a one keeper from new vehicle and it has covered 27,000 miles uh, and it's in good all round condition. Uh, I'll be honest with you now, there's not a lot to show you, just bits of touching up, little bits, you know, typical kind of uh, wear and tear bits. Um, we haven't had a touch up stick. Ford don't sell a bloody touch up stick nowadays, which is frankly um, bizarre. So uh, we're, we're getting some paint ordered up and we'll go around and touch it in. Um, the purpose of these videos is to give you a warts and all video walk around of the vehicle. So I will point you out all of the bad bits um, so that you know exactly what it is that you're buying. Um, and you get a good indication uh, of that. We will get a large amount of customers that buy our vans just from watching these videos, and then they either leave a deposit and come and collect, uh, or we get the vans delivered out to them. So, um, you know, uh, spade to spade, um, that's how I run the business, um, and we don't try and gloss over anything, okay? So, let's get started looking up here on the roof probably got a better view of it than i have all looking pretty straight and tidy from this angle on the telephone anyway but um yeah we've had a good a look up there it all looks pretty good looking at your windscreen the windscreen is in good all-round condition there are no major stone chips on it but there are a couple we've got some two well one there and one there okay uh, i don't think either of those are anything to cause any grief when it comes to mot time um, so I shouldn't worry too much about that. We will put 12 months MOT on this van before it goes out the door. I know it's not quite three years old yet, but it is something that we will do. Coming down onto the bonnet. Bonnet is in overall good condition. There are a couple of marks on the front end of the bonnet, okay? So here I am now. I am, I don't know, a metre away from the vehicle, okay? That's your viewpoint of it. It looks in good all-round condition. What I will say is um, there are a couple of marks just here on the bonnet. And we've got a couple of little light scratchy marks here. Do I think it justifies getting the bonnet painted? If I'm honest with you, I don't think it does. Um, but those marks are there. You've got to make up your mind whether that's uh, good for you or not. Otherwise, add the cost of a bonnet paint into it. I honestly don't think you'd bother. Um, your front grills, front of the front bumper, number plates, etc. Badges, all in good order with no damage to them. Your passenger side headlamp unit is of the automatic headlamp variety with an LED daytime running light. Coming down onto your front bumper corner here, no scuffs. Um, there is a front fog light and as you can see, you do have front parking sensors fitted to the vehicle as well. Uh, what can I say? What well, a couple of minor little marks here and here, but again, nothing major, little mark there. I think that's just an excess polish down there, to be fair. So nothing stand out, but there are a couple of minor bits. Driver side headlamp unit, again, same as the other side, automatic DRL, LED, daytime running light. Um, driver side front bumper corner, all good, no scuffing. Your fog light present correct, no damage. And if we just look down the passenger, sorry, the driver side of the vehicle from this angle, hopefully you can see it's got a lovely mirror finish to the paintwork and there are no major dents or dings to point out to you. Driver's side front wing is all in good order. Your driver's side mirror unit with integrated indicator is all good as well. Both upper and lower mirrors are in good condition. Coming over to your driver's side door glass, that's in good order with no scratching or anything. And then your driver's door itself. There's a couple of touch-ins on the edges. We will get those sorted out for you. But again, no major damage on the door, all looking good. Your driver's door lock is all good. We can sell you the uh, driver's door lock security upgrade, should you wish. And then your driver's side door handle, that's in good all, uh, good uh, condition as well. Looking at your alignment of door to wing, everything lines up as you would expect it to. Your driver's side front alloy wheel is in good condition with a Goodyear tire fitted to it. 
A little bit of brake dust left there. I'll go and shoot the valeter later on. Um, we'll see what we can do to get rid of that for you. And your front tire, as you can see, I'd say part way through the wear thing, I would suggest probably four to five millimeters. You will get a 110 point PDI checker that will give you exactly what your tire tread depths are. Door edges here, so uh, driver's door to rear quarter, everything aligns up nicely. As I say, right on your door edges there, slightly annoying, it's got some touch-ins. We will get those touch-ins sorted out for you, okay? It is quite common for you to catch it getting in and out of the vehicle, um, but we will get that sorted out. That driver's side rear quarter as a whole is in good order, hopefully you can see. If I just get down low, looking down at your sills, your lower sills, are in good condition with no damage on them and your color coded side protective strip down the side of the vehicle is also in good condition you do have front and rear mud flaps and your driver side alloy wheel again factory item with a good year efficiency tire fitted to it and that tire has plenty of tire tread depth i would suggest about the seven millimeters mark just looking at your rear arches hopefully you can see nice and clean and tidy with properly prepared vehicle that we do and then looking down the driver's side of the vehicle again from this angle just giving you a viewpoint of the vehicle no major dents or dings your rear light unit is in good order with no cracks in it your driver's side rear bumper corner is in good condition with no scuffing you do have reverse parking sensors on the back end of the van and as you can see this one is a rear barn door variety with a 50 50 split Look at your alignment of your, both of your doors. Everything aligns up as it should. High level brake light is in good order. Even your door edges coming down the back are in good order as well. We have a little touch in, I think, that's required there. Maybe a little touch in just required on the door edge there, but nothing major. And then your rear door handle, that's looking good. Rear bumper on the back has a protector on it. Your rear reflectors in good order. Your rear parking sensors are all looking good. You know, you'll always get the odd minor little mark on the rear bumper, as pointed out there. A little bit of a scuff mark on your sensor, but overall I would suggest it's in better than average condition. Getting inside the vehicle, you've got the LED uh, rear lights on, which is a nice little extra. Uh, you've got your factory um, bulkhead with uh, the opening flap on the left-hand side, so that gives you additional load length into the passenger cabin a few minor marks on the bulkhead nothing major a little bit of a ding as you can see there and the van is ply lined out in the back you know it has done a job we've got a little little bit of wear and tear on the painted parts around here you know it's all smart repairable if you wanted it to be so you can smart repair it and then just re-scratch it again once you're using it but you know it is quite common for that to be on there You've got your black resin floor fitted and obviously you're nicely ply lined in the back there, aren't you? Inside of the rear doors, again, ply lined. Again, there are elements of wear and tear scratches on the paintwork. It's from when you have stuff obviously in the back moving around. No major dents or anything, but there are little bits of scratches on the paintwork there. Really, really common. If you're looking for a van, you know the score. Um, you know, they are a mobile toolbox on wheels. Um, rear light unit, passenger side is all looking good. Your passenger side rear bumper corner is all looking good, with no scuffing. And if we look down the side profile of the vehicle from this angle, again, no major dents or dings to point out to you, very straight and tidy. Your upper quarter above your sliding door is all looking good. The lower quarter, that is also looking good. Your rear alloy wheel on this side is looking good. We do have a different tire on this side. It is a Zeta, so let's assume that's a budget. Um, that tyre tread depth though, all looking pretty good. And then again, look at your arches. Arches are clean and tidy as well. We have a couple of minor little marks there that should just touch in. Uh, some of this is polish. The valve has hand polished it. That is a little mark. Your sliding door rail, all looking good. And then getting down low and just looking at your lower seals. Those seals are in good condition with no damage. Your side protective strips are in good condition with no damage. And then your sliding door on this side. Again, all looking good with no damage. 
your sliding door opens and slides back and holds into place nicely. Your door shuts, as you can see, are clean and tidy, as well as the sliding door rubbers. A close-up viewpoint of your bulkhead. And hopefully you can see your sliding door. Everything, uh, the inner part there that's normally full of rubbish is in clean, tidy condition. Just another viewpoint of the back from this angle as well. And that closes up nicely as you'd expect. Your passenger side door glass is all good and your passenger side door is looking good as well as is your passenger side front wing. Your mirror passenger side with integrated indicator is all good as are the upper and lower parts. And then your alloy wheel on this side, factory item. Uh, looks like another budget tire on there, a little bit of sidewall rear from rubbing up against the curbs. You have that amount of tire tread depth. I'll just query that tire. Um, we'll see what it comes up with, but anything less than three millimeters we replace with the legal limit being 1.6 millimeters. So overall on the outside, as you can see, there are a couple of few touch-ins and stuff like that to sort out on the outside, but it's in overall good con condition. Just have a look on the inside now and your door card on the inside, passenger side door card. Again, minor, minor marks, as you can see, nothing major. Your entry step plastic is good. Your rubber flooring in the front here is good. There's your bonnet pull, dashboard fascia with glove box, all looking good. Top of the dash all good, your headline is all good and your passenger seat, let's just remove the camera off it. The passenger seat, as you can see, clean and tidy condition. No fag burns, no dodgy stains. You do have storage under the seats. This does come down, give you a couple of cup holders as well. And let's move around to the driver's side, shall we? Having a look under the bonnet as we go. So looking under your bonnet, Bonnet is in nice, or well, underneath the bonnet is in nice, clean, tidy condition. Bonnet bolts, original paintwork on there, just shows you it's not had a bonnet off or anything. Coolant is at the correct level and the correct colour, and there's no contamination in it. Fuse boxes there, as you can see. Air box on the tap there, on the top there. Forget the little white creamy stuff. That's just the uh, dressing that the valeter puts on to make the engine covers look nice and shiny. Um, it just evaporates. Uh, there's your brake fluid and your uh, power steering fluid. There's your windscreen wash, oil filler. Again, creamy stuff there is just the dressing for the engine, all right? And then your yellow bit there is your dipstick. Um, but as you can see, very, very tidy condition. Driver side, driver side door card. Again, very clean and tidy. Your entry seals on this side are nice. What we have got here is a couple of marks. I think some of this will take it off. It's where they've, um, the seat belt thing has caught it on the way out, isn't it? A bit lazy, but um, it's uh, it should be fairly easily tea cuttable and maybe a couple of touch-ins again. Uh, pedal rubbers are all good. Flooring on this side, clean and tidy. As I say, your entry step's good. Your driver's seat bolster and the driver's seat itself, again, clean and tidy. Having a look in between the seats, you can see all pretty clean and tidy. We have this leather multifunction steering wheel. Got a nice bit of girth on there to grab hold of, hasn't it? Um, and uh, automatic lights, front and rear fog lights on the left, dashboard illumination on the right. We have electric folding mirrors and electric uh, windows. We have central locking button there as well. Cup holders here. We have 12 volt and USB power here. Uh, more dashboard storage on the top there. We have this pretty cool, funky touchscreen system on the Ford. It gives you um, Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. It also gives you Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, so uh, you get your navigation through your telephone. Um, and then you've got your air conditioning, your God-given right of air conditioning. You've got a heated quick clear front windscreen. You've got driver and passenger heated seats. We have hazard warning lights. We have another 12 volt and USB power here as well six-speed manual gearbox we have cruise control and speed limiter we have all of your computer settings for your multi-function computers on here as well 
wipers on the right, indicators and main beam on the left. Uh, and it's, you know, it's a really nice tidy van, isn't it? It's still got a bit of forward warranty left on it. Double check on the advert to when that runs through to. Uh, I think it's still got forward warranty on it. Anyway, double check the advert. Never take, never take a dealer's word for it, hey? Um, and that's it. Uh, there's about 15 minutes of your life you're never going to get back. But we are Vans today, Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call on 01905 672 080 or email us sales at vanstoday.com. If you're worried about who you're buying off, you should always do your homework. I'm surprised how many people don't. So you'll find that we have reviews on Google, uh, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, um, yeah, all of those things, basically. Overall, I would say you've got a 2019 69 plate, new shape, Ford Transit Custom, in the very desirable chrome blue with a nice mileage of 27,000 miles on it. In good overall condition, a few little bits of wear and tear, nothing major. You've seen the video, make up your mind. Uh, and thanks for watching. There's, uh, as I say, 16 minutes of your life, you're never going to get back. But hopefully, if you are interested, a lot of people will buy off this video. Cheers.